Welcome to the video. Today's video is brought to you by Big Dan Mobility Class. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're learning how to be nimble, if you want to be 300 plus and nimble, join the latest Big Dan Stretch Class 3SB. Price? There isn't one. Just bring the good vibes. Yeah, don't sign up for Abby's class. Sign up for Dan's class. I'm going to coach a class. Yeah, it's a, it's a whatever the price is for the regular class but you get good vibes with Dan and to become nimble, handsome, and you'll learn how to talk to women. You have to pay me to want to go to that class. So you're saying I'd have to pay you to attend one of my classes. If it, if it gave you the complete package to life. Yeah, that's why we got Abby. Abby's strong, smart, athletic, one of the strongest walk on the planet, probably more mobile than you, probably stronger than you, and probably talks to chicks better than you too. Talks to chicks better than me? Probably. Bro, honestly, anyone can do anything in six months if they if a gun's at their head. A gun? You said if your life's on the line. Yeah. Okay, let's ask the people. Hold on. No, the, people the, the people. Okay, first of all, these are the ugly ones. I have the ugly ones. But if you have nice Crocs, like ones that are either camo or have some buttons on them. Okay, do you, can you lift or train in Crocs? So we should probably dig into some more fat loss questions. Appreciate you guys. Sound like on Instagram, you guys asked literally 300. So we're gonna chip away at those. I want to help. And when I do a survey and say how many people are trying to lose fat or cut weight, or, there's a lot of you. So we want to help that out. So we're gonna answer that. I personally am squatting today. I'm gonna try to go heavy uh, with a little belt on. 3SB.co. We probably have something available. I don't know what, but check that out weekly, daily. Join the Discord. I was a little heavy today. I got back on my creatine. Does it get harder to lose weight when you get older? I think, um, yes. It's probably over-exaggerated. The same way that people think like our unique snowflake genetics, the range within calories from person to person that have similar stat. If you're 5'9", 200 pounds and around the rough age and rough body fat is someone else, the range in which calories you'll need is probably grossly exaggerated too. Some people are like, I got fast genetics. I need 20,000 calories. Like that's just not a thing. And same thing with age, like the more you, have muscle and continue to train, the more it'll be fine. Obviously, if you're going from super sedentary lifestyle and you haven't moved in 15, 20 years, now you're 35, 40, 45, 50, it's gonna be slightly more difficult, one, just to break habits because your habits are more ingrained. And that's what I'm trying to get around with all these fat loss questions. Like habits and setting yourself up with preparation are gonna be number one. You can say like discipline, 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 motivation, and that's all trash. We gotta get these habits, and the way we get the habits easiest is setting ourselves up success with preparation. Is it harder? Yes. Our you know, hormones are a little different. The amount of muscle you have if you've been sedentary is a little bit different. But if you continue to train or train hard, it's not gonna be that different at all, to be honest. A couple of people asked like why, and if you check the last video, we went into like kind of the emotional, spiritual story of why. The truth is like, I'm just like you fam. Uh, I see all these jacked ass guys on the internet, fellow peers of mine that do YouTube, sell clothes, lift weights. Um, one, I slightly get inspired, but two, I, you know, I get stuck in the comparison game. I'm human, man. Uh, maybe, maybe your top, you know, Fitzbo, TikToker won't tell you that, but they're human too, bro. Um, so one, I wanted to look the part again. You know, I, I've, I've lived this lifestyle for so long. Uh, so that's one factor. Two is just health. I turned 34 this year. Uh, I'm not. I'm great. All my you know blood work, everything's fine. But you just never know. You know, being 30, 40 pounds of fat extra isn't healthy for anyone. Um, I don't care what you say. You're always going to be better off a little bit lighter. So wanted to do that, um, and I want to feel more like myself again. I want to have fun in the gym, which we go into detail about how I kind of took that route. So uh, one, like no lie, it's business uh, to help my business confidence, my business itself, and my personal confidence. I like, I like looking like I lift. I've been an athlete at the elite level my entire life. So it's you know, a big change for me to kind of feel that way. Um, cardiovascular wise, same thing. I'm never gonna run a marathon. It's not what I do, but I wanna be able to move around and feel good. I could probably go play a pickup game of basketball, ride my bike 10 miles. I just want like a base fitness. And then health, health's number one, man. You know, if you, even if you wanna be the best lifter all time, like you can't do that if your health 
declines in five years. So the guys that are in this thing are in it the longest, both physical health, your joints, your bones, your muscles, all that, but also your internal health, your cardiovascular system uh, and everything else. So that's a, that's a priority for me. And I know that sounds lame, but I did get into health and fitness to be health and fit. I didn't get into this uh, juice to the gills, get high blood pressure, and just look good for a picture. What's up with that pants situation? Do you always wear them that low? I came back at that guy. Someone said something like that on my uh, post one time too. And I came back at him. And then they got mad that I came back at him. Like you can't come onto my page and be commenting about my dick root and not have me come at you like, and uh, the dude said, do you always wear your pants that low? Ha ha, dish it and then not be able to take. So I came back and I said, I don't know, man. You always looking at dudes, dudes lower ends like that. And what did he say? Then he, you know, he got mad at me. He's like, no way you're mad about that. I said, no way I'm not allowed to comment on my own shit. Whoever you are, bro, you think that's the worst thing that's ever come out? You think that got me upset? Look at my face. Do I look upset? There's just no shot. But there's no way you can come at me and not allow me to come back. If, you, if you're coming, bro, like, and another warning to the, the world, you ain't gonna win. Roast battle, gift of gab, charisma, shit talk. I'm number one behind Kevin Garnett. Goes, Kevin Garnett, me, Reggie Miller, Gary Payton. You're above Gary Payton. I highly disagree with that. Those guys have been in professional roast sessions in like NBA locker rooms and where guys are getting probably completely disintegrated. Those guys are getting paid to put a ball through a hoop. I get paid to talk. It goes like, maybe Dave Chappelle got me or something, Eddie Murphy, but that's about it, bro. Huh? What's your advice for people that feel like they're stuck? There's a lot of people that talk about goal setting, and I do set goals. And I have like a vision board and I constantly do affirmations and I think that's important. But a lot of times what really matters is your first step, your second step, rinse and repeat. And so a lot of people get focused on like, all right, I'm 300 pounds. I want to be 200 pounds. How am I going to lose 100 pounds? And, and then it just seems so unsurmountable that you just can't even imagine getting there because you've been overweight your whole life. Or I deadlift 315, I've been deadlifting for a year and I want to go to USAPL Nationals. How am I gonna pull a 650 to be in the mix? Like, it, it's good to have that, but what's more important is just, again, like, it sucks to keep saying it, but like, you have to set yourself up for, pre you know, preparation to succeed. Set yourself up to succeed. Make it easy on yourself. If these goals matter to you, spend your money and time and energy on the day-to-day. -day. If you wanna to get to a big deadlift, hire a coach, lock in your nutrition, schedule out your sleep. If you wanna lose weight, Buy a meal prep, buy healthy food and cook ahead of time. Put in the sweat equity on Sunday so your meals are ready Monday through Friday so you're less likely to mess up. And the same goes for any job. If you're dead broke and you wanna make millions, instead of thinking like, how am I gonna get this mansion or how am I gonna afford my bills? How can you make money right now? How can you, all right, apply for a job? Okay, do a side hustle. Okay, go leave a flyer on all your neighbor's houses saying you'll mow their lawn. Like, there's always ways that you can act now. Um, and I think doing something now is way better than planning something for the future. Not to say that plans don't work and goals aren't good. Literally the only thing, some, the way something changes is if you change. And the only way to change is to actually make action. Talk is cheap. That's what little Wheezy said, man. I went to the grocery store and talk's still cheap. Take action, do something. I know this sounds like some motivational guru bullshit. And those are the people I talk shit on. Step one by one, one by one, one by one. I thought, never thought we'd open a gym. Never thought we'd get a member, but Step one, okay, I gotta clean. Step two, we gotta fix the floor. Step three, I gotta paint the walls. Like chug, 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 chug. And now we got a gym, now we got some members. All right, we got 100 members. All right, now we gotta get 200 members. Okay, what takes me from here to here, day to day, that gets me there? Okay, I want 300 members. What's the steps to get there? And then you literally just gotta take action. Um, we're still transforming, man. So the, the job's never over. I think as, as much as I just talked about goals reaching the end and being kind of scary and intimidating that there's huge goals in front of you. Once you do that, you gotta set new goals. And once you do that, it's all about the day-to-day -day chug. I'm more about the day-to-day, -day, man, than all this huff and puff because once you reach your goal, you gotta maintain it. Um, and again, going to building habits, that's what's gonna do in the long term. Building um, ways to set yourself up for success, that's gonna do it. So hopefully these fast, fat loss tips help. Comment below. Let me know how I can help the nutrition, man. I'm gonna answer as many questions as I can. Again, we had like over 300 on Instagram. Follow me there. Follow my boy Seabats. Join the Discord. I'm in there chatting all day. If you have questions, I'd love to help. That's probably an easiest way to tap into just me. 
you just want a straight up question, join the Discord. Um, if not, theosb.co, grab all your clothes. Sizes are selling out. We might have stuff left. We might not. Um, I appreciate you guys, man. We over me. Be a part of something big in yourselves. Sell the mic. I'm out.